The Holy Bible is a book through its word God has revealed himself to mankind. He revealed himself as a loving, caring, forgiving God. The one who will never forsake us even if we forsake him uh, during our weak moments of our lives. Also the Holy Bible the Holy Bible shows us uh, that God not only revealed himself to mankind but he revealed himself in mankind in every one of us through throughout the holy the whole bible we see a lot of characters that god had revealed himself through each one of them uh, saint paul called them heroes of faith um, those heroes of faith we always look at them to try to understand how god can work in each one of us and can be revealed in each one of us. In our series of meetings with His Grace Bishop Hughes of the Bishop of the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of Southern United States, uh, we will be trying to search through the lives of those heroes. Welcome Sayyidna and uh, uh, what do you think Sayyidna? St. Mary is a, a character that fascinated uh, all of us. She had a huge amount of faith and she was a teenager. She was 14, 13, 14 years old when she was going through all this. How do you think as a word for our teenagers and for our youth, how can a young man or a young woman or a young girl be able to have this huge amount of faith? Is this related to how she was raised or this is something that we can work on ourselves to build that huge amount of faith in ourselves? Actually, spiritual maturity and growing in faith has nothing to do with age. In the Bible and also in the church history, we find many uh, youth, uh, teenagers, reach a very, very high level of spirituality. Uh, for example, David, he was a, a, a youth when he, through his faith, he was able to kill the bear and the lion. Now, this required a huge amount of faith in God. Josiah, the righteous king, you know, in, in his young age, he was able to decide to uh, destroy all the idols and to purify his kingdom from uh, idolatry. Timothy, uh, St. Paul told him, uh, do not let anybody despise your youth, which means he was very young and reached this high level of spirituality and also acquired the position of a bishop in a young uh, age. Uh, the same applies for, you know, San Misael, uh, the Anchorite. He, he reached this high level of spirituality uh, while he was 17 years old. Martyrs like St. Abanoub, uh, even children like St. Kyriakos. So what I'm trying to say, spiritual maturity and acquiring this faith has nothing to do with age. Actually, uh, I believe for the youth, uh, maybe it's easier than when they, they are grown up because you know when we grow up our mind you know and our intellect and we try to analyze everything you know but the children and you know the, the early teenager their faith actually is is stronger than uh, than the adults uh, that's why the lord said unless you convert and be like children you cannot enter the kingdom of god and one of the things that the children have have is their faith uh, when, when you, you tell him God became man, they accept it. Maybe if adult you tell him the, the incarnation, they would question it. So, uh, if, if our youth submitted to the will of God, start to establish a relationship with God through daily prayers, through daily uh, discipleship to the word of God, through all the means of grace, the sacraments of the church, through being active uh, members in the body of Christ in the church, through the, 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 the praises, the liturgy, 
all these things can help them to grow in their faith and make them uh, experience God in their life as, as you said how God is revealed in our life and once they develop this experience they will know God because there is a big difference between knowing about God and knowing God and this knowledge will help them to grow in faith day after day Sayyidina, uh, when we called uh, Saint Mary the hero of heroes of faith, this gives her that position on top of everyone, of all the creation. How the youth would benefit from her intercession uh, throughout her, their lives. We see how, how close she is to many uh, around the world with all these apparitions that really is marvelous in Egypt. How we can use this practically in our lives to to understand and to benefit from their intercessions. St. Mary has a very, very close and dear relationship to the Lord. To the extent I may say that the Lord uh, cannot say no to her. <laughs> you know, in the miracle uh, transforming the water into wine in the wedding of Cana of Galilee, Although he told her, my hour has not come yet, but he didn't tell her no. And, and, and with total faith and trust, she said to the servant, whatever he tells you, do it. So uh, when we ask her intercession, what, what a blessing, you know. God uh, will not say no to her. Besides the, all the, 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 the soldiers of darkness, they are scared of St. Mary. Now, when you hear the uh, stories of uh, casting out demons, uh, those who have this gift tells us when they mention St. Mary, Satan cannot uh, resist, you know, because she has uh, power over all the darkness of, of uh, soldiers of darkness. And that's why we, we pray in the 11th hour in the Agbeya. Uh, when my soul departs from my body, uh, come to me and close the gates of Hades, lest they, they swallow my soul. Uh, and because her intercession actually in, in, in the divine liturgy, in midnight praises, in the Agbeya, the third litany in each uh, hour is dedicated to St. Mary. So here I encourage our children to start having this relationship with St. Mary, to consider her as a uh, real mother to them. Uh, and, and we call her our trusted advocate for mankind. You know? So uh, faithful, faithful to us. You, know, you heard about the operations these uh, last 10 days and how with her love, you know, she appeared to everybody supporting us, telling us that God is with us in spite of all the, the hardships and the difficult time, but God knows our groaning, God understands, God hears, God is here to deliver us and to, to help us. So uh, we need to start this relationship to call upon her and to ask her to be with us during our hardships and this would be a great blessing and a great deliverance to, to us during the time of our difficulties and hardships. Thank you, Sayyidina. I'm sure if we, uh, if we spend days talking about St. Mary, it will never be enough. But uh, just as to close, uh, if God was able to reveal himself in all these heroes, he can reveal himself in you. Thank you.